Yo, what's up guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners, Lesson 7, and in this video we're going to take a look at variables. That's coming up. Wow. Okay, so JavaScript can do some really cool things, and one of those things is this. An image gallery that zooms in when you click on the image, crosses off, zooms in, crosses off, swipes to the side, really cool. And you're going to end up making programs like this in JavaScript. But to do that, you're going to have to learn the core essentials, and at the heart of that is the JavaScript variable. So we're going to spend this lesson talking in depth about JavaScript variables. So I've just got up this simple HTML page that I made, and I've got the console open here in Google DevTools. And we're just going to go through the variables in this console. Now, you're going to be working with them a lot in JavaScript. Like I say, they're at the heart of every program you will make. And the key to variables is that we use them to store information, okay? Now, this could be the X or Y coordinate of an element on your page. For example, this is maybe like 20 pixels from the top and 5 from the left, something like that. You could store those values in a variable. Or it could be the customer's name when they enter that into a form field. You want to store that in a variable and give them some kind of personalized welcome message later on. Or it could even be a special value such as true or false, which have booleans in JavaScript, and we'll talk about those later on in different videos. So, how do we define variables? Well, we define variables with the keyword there. Oops, there. Oop, there we go. There, got there eventually. <laughs> and then after that, we put down our uh, variable name. Now, a variable name can contain letters, numbers, underscores, or the pound sign, and it can be whatever you want, but they mustn't start with a number, okay? So you could have something like this, my variable, but you couldn't have something like this, one, my variable. You could have my variable one, if you like, or my variable underscore one. So you can have any combination of those things you like, but just don't start it with a number. You can't do that, okay? And typically, when I write my variables, what I do is use camel case. And that means I always start with a lowercase letter for the first word. So my, they're all lowercase. And then for the beginning of every subsequent word, I'll use a capital letter. So variable with a capital V. Um, my variable, let's just put my name, Sean, capital S. That's how I would write my variables because you can clearly see each uh, word within that variable. And then we simply end it with the semicolon, and that defines your variable, okay? Now that variable holds no information at the, the minute, but it's allocated a an area of memory in the program, so you can give that information, okay? So later on, you could say, well, okay, it's undefined at the minute, that's why it's returned undefined, we've not given it a value, but I could say, okay, well, my variable, Sean, set that equal to 10. And then close it off with a semicolon. Remember, every statement ends with a semicolon. So now I'm setting that variable equal to a number. Okay, and then it returns 10. It tells me what that variable is equal to. Um, so that's how we define variables and give them values. Now, we can do that all on one line if we wanted to. We could say there. I'll do a different one. Uh, my there too, I'll call this. And we'll say this equals hello. And this is a string. And strings in JavaScript are contained within quotes. And they could be double quotes or single quotes. I use double quotes. Uh, and then we end the statement with a semicolon. So now we've sp uh, specified that we want the variable name to be my ver2. And we've assigned it a value all in the same statement. We don't have to do two separate statements like this. We can do it all in one. All right, so that's typically what I would do. And then we can call that variable later on, my ver2, and see what it's equal to. And it gives us back hello. Okay, so that's what's stored in my ver2 now. So when we specify a variable like that, it's undefined until we give it a value. And then when we give it a value, it becomes that value. Now we can change the value as many times as we want. I could say my ver2 um, equals hello again. So now I'm changing the value of that val uh, that variable and it updates that. So if I call it again, my ver2, then it's going to give me the updated value. All right. So we can change the value of variables as we go along in the program. We can also change the type, right? And by type, I mean whether it's a number, whether it's a string like this here, or whether 
um, it's a boolean which is true or false or an array or an object we'll go into all the different types later on but just know that you can change the types of variables so I could say well now I want my there two to be equal to five okay and that is a number so now it's going to give me back five so it was a string now it's a number all right now although you can do this in JavaScript I don't like doing it and I would advise you not to do it as well because it gets a little confusing now I like to name my variables um, in a logical way so I might say their customer age equals I don't know 32 yeah 32 years old now if I put customer age and get that back it's going to give me 32. Now, I'm not going to go giving that customer age variable a string like Susan or Mark, you know, the name of the customer. I'm always going to keep it as a number. And that's why I always like to keep the type the same. JavaScript will let you change the type, unlike other programming languages which don't. Um, however, I always like to keep the type the same. And this is what's known as dynamic types. JavaScript has dynamic types because they can change. All right. Now, in other programming languages, you have to specify the type of variable when you initialize it. So, whereas we say uh, my ver uh, three equals I don't know forty, yeah, we're not saying well, hey, this is a number. Whereas in other programming languages, we might have to do something like this. Instead of writing ver, we'd say int um, my ver three equals forty. Okay. Now. This would be a different programming language, not JavaScript. We're specifying that this is an integer. Okay, it's not just any old variable, it's an integer. In JavaScript, we don't have to do that. Everything starts with just the keyword var or var, and then your variable. And it can be a string, a number, um, an object, a Boolean, anything you want it to be. Okay? So, that is what's called a weakly typed language and that's what JavaScript is it's weakly typed because we don't have to specify the exact type of the variable whether it's a number string or anything else when we initialize it so I think that just about covers variables from a bird's eye perspective uh, we're going to go into detail about all the different types of variables and what we can do with them later in this playlist but for now that gives you like a general overview of what they are the takeaway points are that we initialize variables with the var keyword and we can set them to a value in the same statement much like this thing here um, the second takeaway point is that they can contain um, the names of the variables can contain letters numbers underscore or the dollar sign but they can't start with a number okay third takeaway point is try to have a specific uh, naming convention like camel case here um, so they all look the same and it's not confusing um, I prefer to do something like that I recommend you do too um, fourth takeaway point you can change the type of variables however not necessarily a good thing I don't like to do it I recommend you don't do it too and uh, the last takeaway point is we don't have to specify the type of the variable when we initialize it okay so that's all it is for variables at the moment like I say we'll go forward and cover them some more in later lessons if you have any questions for now feel free to comment down below I'll answer all of those otherwise if you enjoy these videos please like share or subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one